Being number 11, New Mexico State on Big Monday. Hello once again, everyone, and welcome to the continuation of Big Monday. We move finally, our final game of the year on Big Monday, to the Big West. The number one team in the nation, UNLV, 25-0. They've won 36 consecutive games, but they have to go in and face New Mexico State on the road. New Mexico State, the Aggies have won 29 straight at home. And with numbers like that, you add to that that the ninth consecutive championship could be won for UNLV in the Big West, Jim Valvano. We're talking about all these fantastic things, and you want to talk about a barbershop and getting a haircut or something. That's right, John. We're talking barbershop here because Vegas has gone through a schedule like a barber runs his shop with the most familiar refrain. Next, first up, we had we have Arkansas Razorbacks here, and Vegas took them by seven. Michigan State, right? They were the first one. Then the Razorbacks came in. They took them by seven. Next to sit in this chair is going to be New Mexico State, right? And we shall see what happens as Vegas goes towards its undefeated season, John. Yeah, but the Aggies, as you can see, are armed and dangerous and ready with the crowd that'll be as noisy as it gets. Vegas, despite their Thomas and Mack, will never have heard anything like they will hear on this night. So stay with us. When we come back, we'll get it to number one against number 11 in the Big West at the Pan American Center. Could be a tough night for Larry Johnson and crew. When you visit Arizona Charlie's, you can expect the warmest hospitality, the friendliest service, and the best values in Las Vegas. There's around-the-clock fun for everyone, from sports action you can bet on to cashing your paycheck and instantly winning up to $5,000. When it comes to entertainment, Arizona Charlie's Palace Grand Lounge features the hottest acts in town. Arizona Charlie's, a great place to stay, a great place to play. 740 South Decatur. Why are a lot of people driving new GMC trucks these days? Mainly because they want a tough truck or van that isn't afraid of a little dirt. But they're also discovering that at Desert GMC, they can have fuel economy, power, and styling starting as low as $86.95. And with 8.9% financing and rebates up to $1,500, now there's only one question left. What color would you like? Visit one of the three Desert GMC truck dealers. New trucks for today's new lifestyles. We have an overflow crowd of more than 13,000 to see New Mexico State face the number one team in the country, UNLV. And most of these fans are hoping for a replay of last year. and gets it, puts it up, short, it's over, the Aggies have won. And Las Cruces comes apart. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Mike Patrick along with Dick Vitale, and it is great to have you with us from Las Cruces. When you're getting ready to play the number one team in the country, you try to find something they don't do well so you can exploit it. Look at UNLV and just try to find a weakness. I'll tell you, Mike, they are so solid, but it starts with their backcourt. They got the premier backcourt in basketball. We talk about Greg Anthony and Anderson Hunt. We know they can play on the offensive end. What defensive dynamos they are. I know North Carolina State has fire and ice, but this club here does it defensively. Look at those numbers. They're unbelievably awesome, and it's because of the pressure defensively of Anderson and of Mr. Mr. Anthony and Mr. Mr. Hunt, I can't hear you at all. This place is pandemonium. The Panamaniacs are going bananas. In the first meeting between these teams in Vegas, Vegas got out to a 25 to 7 lead. New Mexico State can't afford that tonight. Well, the one problem right now is New Mexico State's not a good shooting basketball team. They shoot 44% for the year. For them to win today, they got to shoot about 50% at least. And they need a great performance out of Randy Brown. He's a tremendous defensive player, but he's going to have to really protect the basketball offensively against the pressure defensively. And then Reggie Jordan. Jordan is going to have to score and score big. The only problem, he'll be defended by Stacey Augman, the best. 
best defensive player in America. Mike, the Panamanians, as you can hear, are going bananas. This has been a circus atmosphere. I'm so excited that we're in Las Cruces. This is going to be one unbelievable game. Las Cruces is really rocking and rolling. And we've got Dan Belwamini with us tonight. He'll be working the benches trying to get some special information. Dan, how do you see the game? Mike, I really look at this game as one of emotion for New Mexico State, but emotion can only take you so far because Vegas is a great team, and New Mexico State has to control the tempo, play well at the start of each half, and they had better shoot the ball if they're going to beat this club. Is it loud? I got these big headsets on. I can't hear. Let's go back to Mike. <laughs> yeah, we can't hear either, but we're ready for it. New Mexico State against UNLV. We'll be back for the lineups in a moment. Yo, Mike, do you know how you defy gravity? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Yes, Mars. I overcome the acceleration of gravity by the application of my muscle power in the vertical plane, thus producing low altitude Earth orbit. Man, money, that's some serious smarts. Where you learn that? In school, Morris. Mr. Jordan, do you have something you'd like to share with the rest of the class? Yeah, don't be stupid. Stay in school. Do what Michael Jordan says. Stay in school! Tie game, back after this. Twist off 7-Up caps and win in the incredible 7-Up college basketball game. Hurry up and grab all the 7-Up caps you can, because if you match the winner score in the final game, you'll win a t-shirt or basketball shoes from Foot Locker or $10,000. Instant winners, too. So grab your caps and win. 7-Up employees not eligible. <laughs> back for second half action in a real barn burner. Stadium mm. bounces start the second stanza. Triple drive across the timeline. The good, the bad, the bumpy. Whatever the road, a Michelin is built to give you all the miles we're famous for. Ride 'em, cowboy. Red Devil enamel. You can always count on its durable finish. Harder than ordinary paints, its beauty lasts and lasts. Red Devil enamel for the finish of a lifetime. Shark. To stay number one in facts demands a whole new level of thinking. Sharp thinking about business. Sharp thinking led to breakthroughs like the world's first desktop full-color facts, adding new dimensions to the way you'll do business. Sharp thinking. It's created a complete line of plain paper facts that produce permanent laser-printed documents of unsurpassed quality. Sharp facts, number one in America. Because the way to meet new business needs with new technology is... Sharp thinking about business. presentation of NCAA basketball, UNLV versus New Mexico State, is brought to you by Buick, the new symbol for quality in America, and by Nike, who reminds you to just do it. UNLV, number one in the country, undefeated against New Mexico State. Let's take a line, uh, look at the lineups for both ball clubs. First, number one, UNLV. Larry Johnson is simply the best player in the country. He averages 23 points, 11 and a half rebounds a game. He will be the number one pick in the NBA draft. Jerry Tarkanian has his team at 25 and 0. In 23 years as a major college coach, he's won 590 games. That's second only to Dean Smith among active coaches. For New Mexico State, the key tonight will be Michael New. The senior center must have a big rebounding night, especially keeping from Vegas from getting second shots. And Neil McCarthy now in his sixth year in Las Cruces. This year's 21-3 record gives the school three straight 20-win seasons for only the third time in school history. Vegas is very close to the lead in virtually every category in the NCAA. They are beating their opponents by more than 30 points a game. They lead the nation in field goal percentage. But New Mexico State has won 29 straight here at home. And when they play excellent defense, which is what they usually do, they are undefeated, Mr. Vitale. Well, they play great defense. Both teams have different styles defensively. New Mexico State utilizes the matchup zone defense. They use full court pressure. On the other side, UNLV plays that strong half court pressure man-to-man -man defense. 
UNLV has been rarely challenged this year. You see in this series, the only win for New Mexico State came a year ago on this court. And Mike, when we get into this game, I got a news item concerning UNLV that really continues the saga of the NCAA and UNLV. Ackles to jump center against where? New Mexico in the home. Whites and Hunt controls the tip. Immediately down to Johnson, immediately it's two to nothing. I tell you, he went right down into the deep low post and used this tremendous strength. Great execution by Vegas for the first possession. Randy Brown back the other way. He may be the key on offense. He's the guy that runs the offense. He must protect the ball. He was sick today at practice at the shoot around. He could not work out. It's 102 temperature. Great hands inside by Vegas. Apple's got a hand on that one. Here's a nice it at two. Interesting story. Played at Houston. Started for two years. They went to the NCAA their first year. NIT and then he said bye-bye. Was unhappy at Houston. There's that matchup zone defense. Collapsing inside. Hunt. This is Anthony. Johnson again. The guy he, shoots nearly 70% from the floor. They really are going to Johnson early. Establishing his power down in the low box. Vegas, man-to-man -man defense. Long range shot by Benjamin. It's a three, and the Aggies have the lead. And that is the key to keep the crowd really loud and into the game. They can't allow UNLV to jump out big early. Almost a steal. Anthony has a good save by Johnson. This is only the third time this year that Vegas has trailed. The third time. Third time. Look at him scrapping out of that matchup zone. Hunt. All these guys are great long-range shooters, and that's a three. Anderson Hunt missed the versatility. Gets out in a break and transition. Could shoot the long-range jumper as well. Reach-in foul called on Stacy Ogman. What a special player. There's the Panamaniacs. You got the Bleacher Creatures down at Wisconsin, the Cameron Crazies. Look at these guys hugging. They love one another. One of the great assets of UNLV, Mike, they have no egos. They have tremendous love for one another, and they're very unselfish. Jerry Tarkanian said that it's a pleasure to coach these guys. It's a lot of fun. And he said it's the best team he has he has had up to this point. Hey, wait a minute. It's a lot of fun. I think it's a lot of fun when you win by 30 every night, too. <laughs> Jordan kicks the ball outside to William Benjamin, the junior from Santa Monica, California. Vegas goes for their amoeba defense. It's a 1-1-3 zone defense. They start with a tandem and a 1-1. See the guy at the point? Little give and go. Brown dishes to Jordan, penetration on the bank, a little too hard, the rebound to Ackles. That's the one negative with New Mexico State. They are not a good shooting basketball team. Vegas likes to push it. This is Hunt for another three. Ate, they're so explosive. They could hurt you in so many different areas of the floor. 10-5, Vegas. They're like the old Boston Celtics, Dick. You think you're doing pretty well, and you look up, and they scored six in a row. Well, they're a great spurt basketball team. Right Benjamin with Hunt on him. Trying to use some patience on offense. High percentage offense. Get it low to wear. Next turn around, touch 10-7. He was a junior college All-American last year. Played at Lee Community College. Hunt with a penetration back to Ogman for three. Boy, these guys don't miss. I mean, where can you defend them? You can't really shade a certain area of the floor because they hurt you from every area of the floor. You got six, eight players taking 25-foot jump shots. Very multi-dimensional players. They can play so many different positions. New Mexico State's playing as well as they possibly can play early in this game. 13 to 7. Vegas has already hit three three-point shots. Nice drive, but the mid missed shot where couldn't get it to fall for it. Travel underneath, and New Mexico State will get the ball back. Neil McCarthy, what a job he did at Weber State. There's Tracy wearing a little one-on-one. -on -one. He goes by Ackles, they isolate him, takes it to the goal strong. Tracy Ware's been coming on strong, scoring big from out of Houston, Texas. Still a loose ball brought down by Jordan, and he scores. Reggie Jordan's an interesting story. Did not play high school basketball. He came from the same high school that produced Doc Rivers out of Proviso East High School out of Maywood, Illinois. 
Opportunity for another three. This is Anthony. Vegas finally misses the shot, but they got the offensive rebound in the front. Misses the three. Long rebound to New Mexico State. This is Benjamin. They're down 13 to 9. Benjamin's a good three-point shooter. He's also a clutch player who's won some big games late. You mentioned Jordan not playing high school basketball. Neither did Ware. He was a swimmer. Yeah, he was recruited for swimming. Jordan, great spin move. Bad shot. The rebound to Johnson. Yeah, McCarthy's went for the quick athlete, the smaller quick guy, as opposed to the big guy that he had at Weaver State where he plays more a slow-paced game. Both of these clubs have gone to junior college players repeatedly. Johnson in the pivot, had it blocked, but the foul will be called on Ware. Larry Johnson gets in that deep. He's absolutely unstoppable. I think when he goes to the NBA, though, Mike, he's going to have to be a small forward. There's Johnson now going to spot up to the open area. He's got great hands. And look at that body strength. Ware comes over, makes contact. You don't think he'll have a problem playing small forward, do you? No, I think he'll overpower a lot of small yeah. forwards. I don't think size-wise that he's big enough to play the power forward slot in the NBA. Johnson has hit 26 of his last 27 free throws. Has five points on the night. The lead is 14 to 9. Mike, remember, I want to get into that story involving several UNLV players concerning the latest NCAA letter. We'll do that. Time out on the court. The lead is 5. <laughs> it's happening. Some people are climbing out of their imports and getting into the 1991 Buick Regal sedan. Why? One simple, overwhelming consideration. Quality. Buick quality. It's something you might want to get into yourself. Regal from Buick. The new symbol for quality in America and beyond. Yo, Boss Blackman, here with the ladder's lamp. On the lamp. I'm granting you just one wish. Which I wish for. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? A million dollars? Nah, tax problem. A new car? Can't drive. I got it. A wild bamboo mop for love, bam, boom! Look, Mom, I can fly. I like that, Genie. I am the greatest! Every day, more and more people are getting together over an ice cold Bud Light. Well, you can taste it, you can feel it, you know, and you got it right. with a six-point lead on New Mexico State early first half, and Dick, wherever Las Vegas goes, the shadow of the MCA seems to follow. Well, the latest is, ready for this, two of their players, two of their starters have been notified by the NCAA that they questioned their eligibility because when they were recruited, they ordered room service from their room, approximately $25 for a movie, a phone call to their parents, plus some food. I don't think anywhere in a book does it say that you cannot have room service. They are questioning their eligibility, and right now UNLV feels there is nothing illegal with that, but it shows again that the constant scrutiny just goes on and on, and it's amazing that these players can play with that constant scrutiny. Randy Brown with a great move to go down the lane and draws the foul. I'll tell you one thing, Mike. As he gets fouled in that situation, driving down the lane, look at the change of direction. Good change, goes around the back, uses it for a change, protects the ball. You know what I want to point out here is when you talk about that, I think there are a lot of coaches in America would have to check their players about ordering room service on a recruiting visit. And here's something else. Greg Anthony, a week ago, was notified by the NCAA that he was declared ineligible because he was part of that business deal with two other guys where they have shirts that they manufacture and sell. And he was told, give up the ownership or you lose your eligibility. He has given up the ownership. Brown will try to cut the lead to four. The Aggies are not good free throw shooters as a team. But Brown hits both of these and the lead has been cut to four. Now here comes the full court pressure. They go to that matchup, try to invite him to a sideline. Johnson comes back to help out. Neil McCarthy is one heck of a coach. Really was impressed with him today at the shoot around. Average 20 wins a year, Mike, at Weber State for 10 years. Johnson. 
matchup is really doing an excellent job when he matched up with a man in the area of the floor. Ackles in the lane. Didn't get the roll, but it's tipped back in. Offensive rebound looked like Augman right yeah. on the offensive glass. Augman got it. The lead is six again. See, when you're a good rebounding team like UNLV, you can hurt a club two ways. With your defensive pressure, getting turnovers and a layup, and on the offensive board. So even, even if you don't shoot well, you're still in the game. New Mexico State out-rebounded them in the game in Vegas. Very misleading. They were up so big that it almost was meaning, meaningless. They were up 35-11. Jordan trying to go a little one-on-one. -on -one. It wasn't working. Shot clock is at 16. Benjamin kicks it way outside. New with a long-range shot. And down court is Johnson. Oh, showtime. Oh, not only showtime. That's a monster match. Oh. Larry Johnson says thank you. And they really work today at the shoot-around. Defensive transition to try and shut down the layup on Vegas where they release people. Johnson has eight. It's 19-11. Another turnover. Here comes Johnson. Give it back to him. Give it back to him. Why not, baby? See, that'll quiet the crowd. They're so explosive, Mike. 21-11. Best defensive team I have ever seen in college basketball. Boy, they look like they're, they're just running a practice. They are so cool. That's how they practice. They practice with that intensity. Jordan down the lane, kicks it back to New, and the center hits from outside. Michael New has that kind of versatility. He's also from Chicago. Three of their players, Jordan, Brown, and New, are from Chi-Town. 21-13 with 13-19 to go first half. Anthony, nice penetration, pushes it off. Great ball to follow by Ackles. George Ackles is supposed to be one of their weak links. When you talk about in the lane, there aren't many colleges that have a George Ackles. And you're ready for this? And Elmore Spencer, who could come off the bench, will be a first rounder at seven feet. Yeah, I really feel sorry for that weak link. They well, you know, don't do half bad. You talk about a weak link in college, you're comparing it maybe to Shaquille O'Neal. But after that, not many people have an Ackles and a Spencer in the lane. James White, number 10, is in for the Aggies. He's a 6'9 junior. He's a shot blocker and can run the court. Baseline drive and a foul on an eight. As Jordan tried to cut under the bucket. They need White on the floor because he'll give them size and presence and shot blocking ability. As you look at the front court, number 17 to 6. Foul was on Ogman, his second, third team foul on UNLV. The Aggies have committed only one. Benjamin draws the defense out toward him in the person of Hunt. This is White. Bad pass, but saved by Randy Brown. Brown has excellent hands. Down the lane, double clutch. Johnson's got the ball, and he's fouled. What makes Larry Johnson so special? What a great kid he is, too. Look at him laughing. Has a great personality. Just loves to play. Has a personality very similar to the Magic Man. Magic Johnson has that heavily personality where he loves playing the game. And a reach-in foul on Randy Brown. Brown really under the weather today at the shoot-around. Neil McCarthy didn't know if he was going to start him. What a Terry play. Bennett, number five, is into the game for the Aggies. He's an outstanding long-range shooter. In one game, he had nine threes. The last game, he had five threes. Ogden kicks it outside to Anthony. He'll set it up. He and Hunt the guards. That matchup starts out in a 1-1-3, and then they rotate in the movement of the basketball. They pass so well. Anthony with a beautiful rotation. I'm so impressed with their presence on the floor. I mean, they really have a great understanding of their roles. Anthony knows he's a point guard, and he plays like a point guard. 25-13. This is Bennett. Look at him play defense. Look at that staff defensively. I think it's a frightening thing about uh, UNLV, Dick, is you can't find a weakness. They are excellent at everything. I say amen to that, Mike. Only way they're going to beat, they're going to have to contribute to the loss. And that's what Mike Krzyzewski was saying right. yesterday. They will have... We've got a timeout on the court, 11.42 to go in the half. UNLV, 25, New Mexico State, 13. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? I'm ready. <laughs> now, on this first time ever Wheaties Game Box, you can shoot hoops with Michael Jordan. Nice shot. But you better get into the action before the Game Box is over. Yeah! 
Okay, two out of three. Of all the world's car lines sold in this country, J.D. Power & Associates ranks only one American among the ten most trouble-free. Buick. Before you put a new car in your garage, make sure it has one of these on the hood. Quick, which luxury car gets better highway gas mileage? Lexus LS400 or this Buick Park Avenue? Most people guess Lexus. Most people are wrong. Maybe for you, but my hemorrhoids are killing me. Try sit again. For Still pain. going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. As Nancy Walsh saves for her son's education, her savings and those of millions like her are invested in business. When business grows, our nation prospers and becomes more competitive in the world, which could open up a world of opportunities. And who will be there seeking out those opportunities for you and Nancy Walsh? Merrill Lynch. We're bullish on the future. Two areas of concern for New Mexico State. He's telling his club, let's get back on defense. They're cherry-picking us for layups, so make the adjustment, get back on defense, and force them to put the ball on the ground offensively. Vegas just standing out there and shooting the three-point shot. Neil McCarthy upset at his club. They've got to do a better job defending the perimeter. Now let's go back to Mike and Dick. All right, Dan, thanks very much. You know, it's, it's interesting. Coaches are coaching as hard as they can. But at times already in this game, it looks like they're just overwhelmed from a talent standpoint. Mike, I'll tell you one thing you try to do defensively in transition. Only send two guys to the glass and a half a guy means somebody to the foul line as we look at the field goal percentage is awesome right now. What a defensive play by Johnson. He just reached over, knocked the ball down into one of the Aggies and out of bounds. That's unbelievable. Let's see if they can pick up the intensity on this end of the court. UNLV likes to use that high post pass. Hunt for three. Long rebound to Augman. Anthony. He kicks it out to Hunt. The miss for another offensive rebound. You can't give them three opportunities and shut them down. On a great skip pass right over the defense. Hunt for three. Missed again. Another offensive rebound. Johnson goes down. Contact. No whistle. Bad pass, steal. Ahead to Johnson. Uh -oh. Look out. But he uses his oh. head. Little showtime. Oh. Little showtime. They actually got five shots out of those two possessions. Finally score, and they lead by 14. Basically, right now, on a missed shot, they want to send two and a half people to the glass and two and a half people basically you have coming back because you send one to the foul line for anything long and two people retreating to protect against the easy basket because Vegas likes to release people. Trying to get Bennett free for a three-pointer. But Hunt doing a fine job on him. Jordan had to change his shot, got it back. Forced it up, missed it. There's a block, but it'll be a goaltend on Ackles. George Ackles really tries to intimidate in the lane, and he's played a lot better since the arrival of Elmore Spencer, who's challenged him in practice every day. Of course, this club only blocks eight shots a game. <laughs> Look at this intimidation inside. Here comes the loose ball, and there comes Ackles. Ooh, very, very know. close. Very, very close. And then he had the presence of mind to go up and get a hand on it and try to knock it to one of his teammates. Remember, he's got to get the ball on its way up on its downward flight. Watch Vegas. They do not dribble the ball an awful lot. They keep the passes in the oh, what a catch. What a catch that was by Johnson. Johnson has 15 in the first 10 minutes. And he hasn't taken a shot further than like two feet from the basket. Let's take that back. Six inches from the goal. 29-15. It's got to be so demoralizing. You're playing well and you can't neutralize or stop the other club. Johnson has hit all six shots from the field. Little backdoor cut. Jordan. Nice backdoor move. Jordan slashes to the goal. Simple definition of a backdoor cut. Cut behind the defensive player. Catch him staring at the ball. New Mexico State desperately needs a couple of turnovers right now. A couple of good defensive plays and easy buckets off of them. The crowd is not as loud as it was early in the game. 
Hunt, nice pass inside. Johnson finally misses, and here comes Jordan. Three. Bennett hit it. He's a designated three-point shooter. As we said, he had nine in one game. And, Dick, that was in the last nine minutes of the game. He scored 27 points. 29-20. He can really shoot the rock. I was watching him in practice. Today. Now the crowd's a little alive. Augman. Augman says, hey, Larry, oh. you've been starring. Now it's my time for a little showtime. Boy, it's Dunk City out there. Oh, look at this little showtime right here. Try another. It's a two. Tracy Ware, good inside-outside scorer. Out of Houston, Texas, played at Yates High School. Lee. Junior college in Texas. 31-22. They're really playing well. They are Anthony. really. The Aggies are playing well, Mike. Dick, they really are. It's that Vegas has played nearly perfectly so far. They this won. is Benjamin coming back in the game. And Bennett, who only got the one shot and made it, comes out. They won 26 games last year. And they won that dramatic game here, 83-82 over Vegas. Hey, these guys are 21 and 3. <laughs> That's well, not too shabby. Not. No, it's not. Brown for 3. Step back in the game, and the crowd is back live again. The Panamaniacs. Brown only shoots 24% from long range, but he got that one down. He hurt his hand. He just hurt his finger. Randy Brown in the 3. Benjamin's got those long arms. Oh, he walked. He walked. And Jerry Tarkanian wants a timeout. He does not like running the scene in the last 30 seconds. 7.49 to go. The lead is down to six. Makes the catch. 3.79 in the corner. Once again, this season, if it happens in baseball, you'll see it on ESPN. Damon Bailey faces Steve Smith. King Rice meets Kenny Anderson, and Brian Williams leads Arizona against Oregon State. A star-studded triple header Thursday night live on ESPN. 31-25, UNLV with 7.49 to go first half. Let's take a look right now at the creativity right here by Anderson Hunt. He drives, he draws the defense to him. Now watch him drop the bounce pass. And here's the slasher, the explosive one, Stacey Aukman for Jam City. On the other side, we're going to take a look at Randy Brown. And this is a rarity. He's 7 for 29 from three-point range. There goes the guy from Chi-Town. He says, that's a trifecta, baby. Played at Collins High School along with Walter Bond, one of the stars from Minnesota. Dick, normally you think of a crowd of this capacity and this loud as something that's going to affect the visiting team. It's not going to affect Vegas, but what it can do is raise the Aggies' level of play. That was the actual speech today by Jerry Tarkanian to his team. He said, we're used to playing before a crowd like this, but these kids are going to be all jacked up because of all the media coverage, the NBA scouts. They can Where? make their Air ball. Here comes Anthony. in the game at center. They need a stop right here. A big momentum builder if they can get a stop here and score on the other end. Well, Spencer takes up a lot of space, doesn't he? Johnson. He's a big-time player. Elmer Spencer was the junior college player of the year. They won the national championship at Connors Junior College in Oklahoma. Told me today he loves playing for Jerry Tarkini. He says he's the greatest communicator I've ever been around. Then he got his degree from Clark County Community College, which is in Vegas, in order to be able to play. Where? Fouled by Spencer. Elmer started his career off at Georgia. There's a little fake. Goes by him. Where's got good offensive skills? He's going to be a big-time offensive scorer next season. What an amazing story. Tracy Ware was being recruited as a swimmer by the University of Arkansas. Yeah. He was 6'1". He has grown. Look at his body now, about 6'8". He's become a heck of a basketball player. So the heck with those swimmers. They're wacky, those swimmer coaches. You know what they do? They have kids in a pool at 5 in the morning. I know my daughters were trying swimming. The coach said 5 in the morning. I said, wow, that means i got to get up. Forget that. Go hit the tennis ball. Ware, 61% free throw shooter. 
There is averages on the year. It's 33-25 UNLV. There hits the second one. They're really hanging in a really good position. You get a little confidence that they can go in at halftime with a respectable margin. Working hard to get back on defense. Hunt faked the three. Knocked away. UNLV really uses that skip pass exceptionally well in attacking zone defenses. You have also mentioned, Dick, spacing, and I think that's the best spacing I may have ever seen. They really work on spacing. They did today at their shoot-around. Make that defense really have to move and react because if you stay bunched up, they can match up very easily. Look at how many passes they make before the ball hits the ground. It's the first dribble of this possession. Shot clock is at 10. Dribble penetration is not a bad choice. When in doubt, just throw it up to my buddy. They got it down inside to Johnson. He doesn't get the bucket, but he is fouled. Foul was on James White, his second. They're going to move the ball around the perimeter against the matchup. The matchup simply means this. You try to find a man in the area of the floor, and you match up with him. But then you must communicate on all cutters. you got to let people know he's coming through your area of the floor. And you release, and you communicate. Johnson with that strange free throw motion has hit all three tonight. I challenged him on a free throw line today at the shoot around, <laughs> and he said, you don't like my motion. He said, but check the numbers, Dick. I'm shooting about 80%. I'll tell you what, once I see your motion, I like his motion. 35-26, the lead back to nine. We approach the six-minute mark in the first half. This is Benjamin. They don't give you any margin for error, UNLV. If you really have a few possessions where you don't score, they will make you pay big time. Bad pass as Jordan just got came back to save it, stepped on a baseline. Bobby Dibbler with that call. Jordan trying to get a little too fancy. He's hanging in the air. There's a look at Anderson Hunt, Southwestern High School in Detroit. There's the retreater coming from the back. 39 to go first half. Bunker's really improved his perimeter skills. See, there's that skip pass where you bypass the man next to you. There it is again, right over the top of the defense. Anthony for three. Here comes Randy Brown. Randy's got a lot of showtime in him between the legs. Mike Krzyzewski loved him, had, at the, had him at the national tryouts for the national team. Went down the lane, lost the ball. Here's Anthony. Try a little bit, Greg. I like him. He likes to go. Three-pointer, no good. Jordan. Jordan is a slasher. He's an athlete. He's got superb quickness. And he's got long, long arms. There's a look at Reggie Jordan. Never played high school basketball. And there's the goaltending. Can't interfere with that ball. On its downward flight. In college basketball, you can play with the ball up on the glass if it's on its upward flight. NBA, you cannot. Ron Pootsi, number 23, checks into the lineup. It's a good long-range shooter out of uh, British Columbia, Canada. He was a legend in Canada. 35-28. New Mexico State hanging around. Johnson baseline. Missed it. Spencer had the offensive rebound. Missed it. Then went up and grabbed the rim. Then a lot of contact underneath. And the foul will go against New Mexico State. So difficult when you allow them three opportunities. But there's nothing you can do when you give away that kind of size. You're watching a seven-footer operate right here. And he has a lot of help from his friends as they keep the ball alive on the glass. Very athletic. Foul was on Fuzzi. Like for years, Louisville, they really lived off the offensive rebound sure did. and off the turnover. And my feeling is when you have a team like Vegas, where you're always going to have offensive rebounding power and you're going to have power off the defensive transition game with the steal, you'll always be in a basketball game because it doesn't matter if you don't shoot well. Ogden at the line. Johnson gets a breather. Ogden trying to make the second. He's the number five all-time scorer. Number two in career block shots. Number two in career steal. Could be 
one of the top three defensive players in the country. Oh, I think he's the best. Mike Krzyzewski told me yesterday, if there's one player he would love to have, it would be Stacy Ogden. He said he can run the floor, play on a defensive end, and John Thompson said the same thing. I love Stacy Ogden. Vegas has hit six out of six from the free throw line. Dick, it's funny when you hear people say, well, Las Vegas is not that good from the free throw line, and the response is, who cares? That was Bootsy hits the jumper. Bootsy has that kind of range. They haven't been in a game yet close in the last five minutes where the free throw shot has really mattered. Usually they're ahead by 35 at that point. 37-30 here, though. I'll tell you one thing. New Mexico State has played really well because Vegas has played a good first half. Bootsy picks up his second personal foul and the sixth team foul against the Aggies. Jerry really Tark trying to pick up that defensive intensity. Jerry Tarkanian said that Neil McCarthy really gets his people to play hard, and they really believe in what he's teaching. Everett Gray checks in for the first time, the sophomore from Bloomington, California. Another uh, community college player out of Riverside. He's really been a contributor. He's getting better and better, getting more playing time. Ackles, 15-footer. George Ackles steps right into the opening, into the gap. Hey, he's a solid second rounder, and he may make himself a first rounder. 39-30, whistle blows before the shot as Terry Bennett's back in. UNLV to me, Mike, if you chart and evaluate your team, they got surefire first rounders in Greg Anthony, Larry Johnson, Stacy Augment, Anderson Hunt will be one, but he has another year of school. Elmer Spence will be a first rounder. 3.45 to go, first half. 160 horses. That's what Chevy S10 packs into the biggest V6 engine ever put in a compact pickup. Enough power to help switch more truck owners to Chevy last year than to any other truck. The move to Chevy is becoming a stampede. More people are winning with the heartbeat of America. Now it's easy to win with the heartbeat. The smallest particle known to man is the quark. Quarks throw a party and form an atom. Atoms form molecules, and molecules form things like spatulas and platypuses. Sometimes the fastest and lightest molecules get together and form a cheetah, or a rocket, or Jerry Rice. Under ideal conditions, they form the Nike Air Trainer TW Lite, the lightest, fastest Nike cross-training shoe in the world. So you can wait 12 billion years for these to occur randomly in nature, or buy a pair pre-assembled today. Isn't science wonderful? The 1991 NCAA mini basketball from Pizza Hut is one of those things people just love to get their hands on. And at only $2.99 with any Pizza Hut pizza you buy, luckily that's very easy to do. So grab this year's NCAA mini basketball for just $2.99 while supplies last. Because you're never too old or too young to have a ball. Big Monday continues in a moment. Coming up at halftime, Jim and I will be back to analyze the first half. Scores and highlights as well, including Georgetown against St. John's. Right now, let's get back to Mike and Dick. All right, thanks very much, John. We have 3.45 to go here. UNLV leading by nine over New Mexico State. Hey, Mike, if you think about seedings right now, Arkansas, I think, will be the first seed in the southeast. The Midwest will be Ohio State. The West will be UNLV. I think there are five teams still battling for the east. Syracuse, if they win out on all their games, certainly I think we'll get the east. Then if North Carolina and Syracuse were to lose, as we look here in the last eight minutes versus the first eight minutes from the field, five for 13 Vegas in the last eight. But I think that if North Carolina wins all their games and Syracuse was to get bumped, they would have the first shot. Arizona's still in a hunt, and Duke in Indiana. Another loose ball. And stolen back by Jordan. He's got those long arms. Give it up. Ah, try to get a little hot dog. Back the other way to Hunt. And they'll pay for it there. Johnson crushes another one. So unselfish. I mean, does he... Smash it down with definition. <laughs> yeah. Now the lead back in double digits, 41 to 30. They have to take better care of the ball. See here, you got to be careful of that spurt. Jordan, a little one-on-one -on -one inside, had it blocked by Ackles. Ackles says, get it out of here. Look at him fill the lanes. Punch for three. Oh. Ackles, what a follow! 
right, tell me George Ackles isn't a big-time prospect. Yeah, he's a weakness, all right. And he's the weakness <laughs> along with Spencer in the yeah. lane. How many yeah, colleges... I feel so bad for him. How many colleges would love to have an Ackles and an Unwest Spencer? Brown puts it up. No whistle. Hunt lost it, but found his buddy, Greg Anthony. They are just so cool under pressure. Hunt for three. Good night. I'll tell you why. Are they explosive? Get a T.O., baby. Get a T.O. It happens so quick. I'll Things tell you, are going just fine and all at once the roof falls on you. I know one thing. I wouldn't want to be the number two seed in the West. <laughs> Please don't make me number two in the West. Make me number four in the East. Make me number four anywhere, but not number two in the West. I'd like to be the last seed in the West. You get to go home early first round. Well, you just call up and say, you know what? We really get that nice check. We Mail it in. The NCAA tournament. 2.33 to go first half. And, Dick, you've said a couple of times while we have been away that the amazing thing about this experience Except for this last streak, is New Mexico State has been playing very good basketball. They really have played well, other than this last spurt here, where they're so explosive, Vegas, and knock you right out. I think Jerry Tarkanian just has done an amazing job keeping these guys within themselves when you talk about in terms of this kind of talent and keeping them so content and happy. Of course, defense has ignited uh, a team like this, uh, very much reminiscent of Georgetown's pressure defense when they were winning national championship. There's Ackles with that defensive block, and they really make you pay after the defensive block. They keep the ball on the floor. They're always looking for the open man. The two guards play so well together. And look at Ackles on the follow. Boy, Vegas had the three closest guys to the bucket were wearing red jerseys. You know what's so amazing about that play? George Ackles blocked the shot on the other end of the floor, and he jammed that on the offensive rebound. Only needs 18 blocks for a Vegas school record. 46-30. Bring on the Lakers, baby. Come on down, Magic and Company. Randy Brown working with a left-hand dribble against Anthony. I think the thing that is most impressive about Vegas, their defense. Best defensive team I've ever seen assembled in college basketball. Jordan double-teamed. They took it away. Johnson on the floor. They love playing defense. That's a walking violation. Great call by Bob Darabaldi. Look at Greg Anthony tapping him on a bad says, no, not a bad call. Look at Larry laying down. He said, please come and help me. I'm an All-American. I'm a superstar. And that's okay, Mr. Referee. Love him. I love him out of Dallas, Texas. But oh, did he want to wear an SMU uniform. He wanted to go there badly, but they wouldn't admit him in his school. 2.08 to go. First half, 46-30. Coming up Tuesday, Iowa State against number 10, Kansas. That's a 7.30 Eastern start. And then Alabama and Kentucky at 9.30. That's Alabama, a very disappointing this year, but they've played well lately. Yeah, they have been a disappointment when you think about expectations. Benjamin DeBrown. There's that 1-1-3, one, one, the amoeba defense. Timmy Gergerich does a great job with that at practice to find assistant coach, second lieutenant to Jerry Tarkanian. Former, former head coach at Pitt. Yeah, former head coach at Pittsburgh. Jordan, shot clock is at 13. Tipped out of bounds with 134 to go in the half. This is a very important, this and the next possession for New Mexico State. They're down 16. They need to make something happen. Every possession becomes so it's important. Yeah, you're right. Every possession. Mike, the one great ingredient about UNLV, they love playing defense. Brown gets it outside. Jordan dumps it down to Ware, and Ware is fouled with five on the shot clock. That's the first time Vegas has not played smart defense. Coming up at the half, Jim Valvano will be along to talk about this game and several other things, and we'll have all the scores and highlights. St. John's beat Georgetown tonight. Georgetown really struggling to score some points. Alonzo Mourning, to me, he had the foot injury, and that certainly has really hurt his game. He just hasn't been the dominant player this year that people anticipated. Hard to understand how somebody with more combo scoring 50 points a game, though. Here's a foul on Hunt. As Brown went to the bucket. Very young team, Mike, on a perimeter. They got so many young people back there. Brown will go to the line. 
He is the best free throw shooter of the starters, and he only hit 67%. He said in high school with his Collins team, when he played along with Walter Bond from out of Minnesota, they got beat by Simeon. He says Simeon had a guy by the name of Nick Anderson and Leon Thomas. Browns hit three for three free throws tonight, 46-31. He struggled today at the workout. He was on that sideline, really sitting there with a lot, a lot of, just a look on his face, very tired. He had 102 temperature. And it's hot in this building tonight. They say the building holds 13,007. Well, I'll tell you what, there's not enough room for the fire marshal in it tonight. Oh, this whole town's been going bananas at the luncheon today, the Aggie luncheon. Everybody was excited. They treated me like wealthy. Mike, they give me a key to the city, a proclamation. I mean, these people are beautiful down at Las Cruces. Hunt. That was a two. He was on the line. 57 seconds to go first half. They need a big three right here. Badly. Jordan. That cuts the lead to 11. That was a big three. If they could get in under 10, it would be a tremendous morale booster. Jordan has nine. Well, Vegas can't hold it the whole time. There is a two-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock, but they do want to work as much time off as they can. Notice the spacing. 15 to 17 feet apart, making it very difficult for you to trap. Jordan already has nine points and six rebounds in this game. There's that great spacing. That's a walking violation. Gray turned it over with 16 seconds on the clock. That's a half dozen turnovers against the running Rebel. Neil McCarthy coaching his Randy Brown. Randy says, I got it, coach. Jerry says, what's going on? I can't believe it. Father Flanagan to coach. And there he is, the tar. A bucket would cut the lead under double digits. Will he be the first team to go undefeated since Bobby Knight in the Indiana Hoosiers of 1976 with the great Quinn Buckner at the point guard slot, Ken Benson, Wilkerson, Scott May, and Abernathy. And Hunt will be called for the foul, his second. Anderson's high school team right now is number two in the nation, Southwestern High School. Clark says, I can't believe it. No towel, Jerry? Come on, get the towel. Oh, he's got him over there. It was a three-point shot, so we'll get three free throws. Jerry says this place is one of the loudest places and toughest places to play. He said in 1987, we were number one in the nation and came here with Freddie Banks and Mark Wade, and we were down 19 at the half. Benjamin will get three free throws. The lead is now 10. He could cut it to eight, and there are eight seconds to go in the half. And they could go in down eight. That is absolutely a moral victory. You bet. And they'll be looking for more than that in the second half. Second free throw is good. Under pressure, they're shooting the free throws very well. Benjamin. And now they have to be careful of Las Vegas getting the ball down in a hurry and getting a good shot. He split some time last year with a kid by the name of Hill. The Benjamins become a consistent player for him. That one's struck another that chance. side. Benjamin will go. Johnson with a rebound. Only two seconds left. They're going to get a shot. Yeah. Officials, one of the officials seemed to indicate that it would be good if it went, but the other two said no. Well, there's the triple zero, but remember this, the game ends on a horn, not with the three zeros there in college basketball. But that is a break for the Aggies after they missed a shot with two seconds left at the half. The UNLV 46, New Mexico State 37. Women should always act like ladies. You talking to me? Honesty is the best policy. Never would we shoot down civilian airliners. Never get caught with your pants down. At HBO, we make movies that break all the rules. Movies that take risks, that meet life head on. Movies that deserve to be made the way HBO makes them. HBO, simply the best. Even when the weather doesn't behave, rain, rain, go away. Chevy Astro does. It offers the security of all-wheel drive and standard four-wheel anti-lock brakes. 
The technology that's built into the Chevy Astro is designed to help you stay in control. What you put into Chevy Astro is up to you to control. More families are winning with the heartbeat of America. Now it's easy to win with the heartbeat. This is never going to work. Hey, relax. Anybody can send them roses. Excuse me, we didn't order these. Ian, what's this? Hi! <laughs> Did they really expect us to call them? Budweiser! I'm telling you. <laughs> Hello! Nothing beats a bud! ESPN's presentation of NCAA basketball. UNLV versus New Mexico State. It's brought to you by Chevy Trucks. More people are winning with the heartbeat of America. And by Budweiser, the king of beers, who reminds you, friends know when to say when. Welcome back to Big Monday. And the big test for UNLV, they have the nine-point lead at halftime. But Jim Valvano, New Mexico State has to feel pretty good because the last time they beat Vegas at home, they were down 21 at the half. Oh, I'll tell you, Jim, they got them right where they want them. That's what he's saying. He's what we want to be, down nine. So obviously it was part of the plan on the part of New Mexico State to have problem with the Vegas defense. Well, if that was it, they did. They executed the plan <laughs> perfectly because you take a look at Vegas's defense on the half court. Not only is, are they good, they're also smart. Take a look at Greg Anthony with the space that he has here, right? He's given the New Mexico State player all that opportunity to try to make that pass. But look what happens when Randy Brown tries to enter into the post. There's the steal. Nobody runs layup lines better than Las Vegas because that's what it looked like. They had so many dunks. They just... Going right in the lamps every, every time, John. When Vegas is compared to some of the great teams of the past, most people say if they have a part where they're lacking, it's in the middle in the low post, but it didn't look that way. A lot of people say that, but the fact of the matter is Las Vegas scored most of its points inside. They did it really easily, and they did it in a little bit of the unconventional way. Here against the zone, without the ball even touching the floor, Stacey Ogren throws a skip pass. Absolutely great hands by Larry Johnson. He grabs it and he puts it down. Again, John, one of the many inside baskets that Vegas had and one of the, I don't know how many dunks, they might have about nine dunks in the first half. And they lead it by nine at this point. Second half still to come and what should be a good second half. But right now, earlier here tonight on Big Monday, Georgetown unranked. That seems very unfamiliar for them. Against number 17, St. John's. Both teams with an outside shot at catching Syracuse for the overall title. Three early fouls for Alonzo Morning. He had to go to the bench. Jason Buchanan to Malik Seeley on the lob. Seely with another great night. And John Thompson feeling the pressure. Robert Wardan scores the basket inside. Morning then tries to inbounds the ball, but watch Robert Churchwell. Turns away, bounces off the back of his head and out of bounds. Off the miss by Chucky Sprawling. Wardan is there for the follow. And then watch Wardan here, just lobbing this one up to end the game from half court. It goes in. And that's a 10-point victory for St. John, 68-58. Malik Seely with 20 points. Robert Wardan, 15 points, 8 rebounds. Billy Singleton had 15 for Georgetown. Matumbo, 16 points and 11 boards. So the standings in the Big East look like this. Syracuse already at least, at the very least, the co-champion. They have never won it outright, though. One more victory should seal that up. St. John's has finished their season at 10-6. and six. Seton Hall, Pittsburgh, Georgetown, each with eight victories. And you look at the bottom half, Connecticut and Villanova at the 500 mark. Providence still with a shot to get into the tournament. Boston College, things started out well with a win over Providence, but they've lost 13 in a row. Stay with us when we come back. We'll have more scores and highlights as we continue on Big Monday in a nine-point contest in the Big West. You got the 30-foot woman. 35-pound. 30-pound pizza. 30 dumb clubs. But if you want to travel, your numbers just come up. Just play high. It's less than 35. Just a three-day advance purchase, and you can go as far as 300 miles on Greyhound for less than 30 bucks. So listen up, Gus, and don't miss the bus. Greyhound is less than 30 bucks. When your child reaches college, the cost of a degree could exceed $110,000. And sooner or later, the truth dawns on you. You probably can't count on an athletic scholarship. Not even a partial one. 
At Merrill Lynch, we can give you some coaching. Ways you can improve your financial batting average. We call it College Builder. You'll call it a home run. Merrill Lynch, we're bullish on your financial future. There's no dashboard light to warn you. No dipstick to check. Yet when warned, they could cause your car to lose control and break it. Don't find out your shocks and struts are worn by accident. Get your shocks and struts inspected at your Monroe retailer soon. Monroe, your safety could depend on it. test driving a Sterling, you find another car with all of its standard features and appointments for $28,500 or less, we'll do more than congratulate you. We'll buy it for you. Welcome back. Anderson Hunt with the bounce pass to Stacy Ogwin for Showtime. Just the same, the Vegas lead is just nine at halftime on the road. Big Monday continues. We'll get to the second half in a moment, but first, let's check the scores and highlights and start on the Southern VMI at East Tennessee State. State wins it 88-76. to Mr. Jennings, 19 points, 7 assists. Towson State, non-conference against Virginia. No problem for the Cavs here. 72-49. to Turner with 16 points and 10 rebounds for Kenny Turner. Earlier tonight, in another non-conference game, NC State up against Tennessee. Chris Corciani, needed just one assist to become the all-time leader, along with Sherman Douglas of Syracuse. He needed two to pass him, and that would be easy for Corciani. Easy and early on here. Fire and ice for four years, so why not? That's the one that ties it. Then Corciani to Tom Gugliotta. Here's an easy assist. Googs, the big man from outside, shows his versatility, and then they stop the game. Hand it off to Chris Corciani, becomes the all-time assist leader in the history of the NCAA. 972, Sherman Douglas at 960, will soon be passed by Keith Mr. Jennings of East Tennessee State. Gary Payton and Andre LaFleur round out. The final score in the game, NC State a winner, 90-82. Rodney Monroe, 31 points, five three-pointers as well. Texas in a non-conference game tonight against Stetson. The Hatters trying to knock them off. Texas probably had their minds on the weekend when they will face... Arkansas and the Razorbacks as they try and close on them. Mark Brisker with a three. He had 27 points. Stetson by seven in the first half. Jim Horn loses the ball here to Benford Williams, and Williams will finish things off. He had 21. Joey Wright then from the corner. Texas holds off Stetson and the Hatter. 96 to 83 is the final. Benford Williams with 21 points in this game. And Jim Valvano, as I said, they're looking ahead to Arkansas. They'll play them on Sunday. Arkansas is a tough team for Texas. Are they, we talk about, can anybody knock off UNLV in the Southwest Conference? Can anybody stop Arkansas? Well, I know that Tommy Penders has never beaten a Nolan Richardson coach team. But yes, I think Texas can. At home, they got the inside game with Loxley Colley. They got the outside game with Joey Wright and Tayon McCoy. It can happen, John. Okay, we will find out on Sunday. Let's continue now with the scores. In the Big Ten, a game seen earlier here tonight. This one wasn't this close for most of the game, but still, two-point victory. 74-72, Steve Smith with 27 as the Spartans pick up their 17th win. That puts them into the tournament. Cincinnati over Valparaiso, 90-47. to Herbert Jones had 25 there. In the Sun Belt, UNC Charlotte loses at UAB. Rodgers with 21 points and 13 boards. South Florida against Miami of Florida. They have struggled this year. Joe Wiley with 19, but they get the victory due to the Hurricanes. Montana could have clinched the regular season title in the big sky with a win in this game they lose at idaho by 10 78 to 68 freeman with 18 points and 15 rebounds stay with us when we come back we will continue with more first let's take a look at some more scores on this monday night of college basketball
when you're in third grade and have a chance to meet and talk to the national champion running rebels, what could be better? That's what the Horseshoe Stars is all about. It's a special program created by Dr. Lois Tarkanian and sponsored by the Binion family. It encourages Las Vegas third graders to study, to stay in school, stay off drugs, and stay out of youth gangs. It gives them direct access to the running rebels as role models and friends. Great stuff for any third grader. Today is the final day of Fletcher Jones Toyota's special manager's markdown sale. Every new and used car and truck is liquidation price for this money-saving event. This is your chance to save on the Toyota car or truck of your choice. All Camrys, Corollas, four-door and two-door forerunners. All trucks, Cressidas, Previa Vans, Tercels, Celicas, MR2s, and Supers. Drive home with your best deal only at Fletcher Jones Toyota on East Sahara. The manager's markdown liquidation sale positively ends tonight. I know you're going to dig this. Championship week, 68 hours, 33 games, 23 conference championships will be decided. You've been involved before, but you were at the ACC championships then. You getting ready? I'm excited. I've got my sleeping bag right there, John. I'm going to just camp out the whole time. Can't wait for you it. You don't get a chance to sleep, believe me, during <laughs> championship week. What do you look for in the second half? I think for New Mexico State to have a chance to win, I think three things have to happen. Number one, they've got to stop the easy transition basket that Vegas has been getting. Number two, I think they have to take advantage of the three-point shot. They need to score in a hurry, right? And, and lastly, they've got to do the best they can to stop the inside game that Vegas has. As we told you, they were down 21 at the half last time they beat them, so they got to figure their 12 points the bonus right now. Down only nine in the second half to come. We'll rejoin Mike Patrick and Dick Vitale in just a moment. Red Devil Clear Polyurethane. You can always count on its durable finish. Harder than ordinary clear finishes, its beauty lasts and lasts. Red Devil Clear Polyurethane for the finish of a lifetime. After test driving a Sterling, you find another car with all of its standard features and appointments for $28,500 or less. We'll do more than congratulate you. We'll buy it for you. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? I'm ready. <laughs> now, on this first time ever Wheaties Game Box, you can shoot hoops with Michael Jordan. Nice shot. But you better get into the action before the Game Box is over. Yeah! Okay, two out of three. Tell Nuprin where it hurts. It hurts behind my eyes. Right here. Nuprin works at the site of pain, right at the spot. It helps stop the chemical reaction that triggers pain. Headache? What headache? Tell Nuprin where it hurts. I overdid it. Pain's right in the small of my back. Nuprin works at the site of pain. It has ibuprofen. It actually works right at the spot, right where you need it. Pain's gone. Back feels great. Tell Nuprin where it hurts. ESPN's presentation of NCAA basketball. UNLV versus New Mexico State is brought to you by Payne Weber. We believe our most important investment is an investment in relationships. And by 7-Up and your local 7-Up bottler. 7-Up, the cool spot. We're at halftime in Las Cruces, New Mexico. UNLV leading New Mexico State 46-37. Welcome back, everybody, and Nevada, Las Vegas, with a couple of firsts, has the lead by nine. And Dick, New Mexico State played very well for most of the game, but Vegas is special. You know, it's really amazing. You're down nine, you're at home, you play really well, you shoot the ball well, 13 for 25, you rebound well, yet you're still on a minus side because of the tremendous defensive ability of UNLV and the way they punish you after a turnover and the way they utilize the slam dunk. Larry Johnson was a monster in the first half. Johnson made a play in the first half, got away for a breakaway layup. Coming out on defense, you'll see him just go right by the shooter and take off for the other end. 
He releases and a great outlet by Stacy Augman, the left-hander. He gets the ball out to him, and here comes the monster dunk. It's the monster mash. There he goes. Randy Brown controlling the basketball. A little one-on-one -on -one maneuver going to go off the screen. Good ball reversal. Defense by Larry Johnson. There's the backdoor cut by Reggie Jordan. But the defense staring at the ball. Here are the first half stats. New Mexico State, which is, does not shoot particularly well as a team, did shoot well in the first half. They shoot 52%. 78% from the free throw line. They don't do that very well either. The rebound battle almost even. They had nine turnovers in the first half, and that really hurts them. And another thing they did well, Dick, they shot four out of six from the three-point three point range, and that's terrific. Yeah, that's really terrific because, Mike, basically they're a struggling team when you talk about shooting the basketball, and they have shot well, yet they're still down by nine. 18, Larry Johnson with a big, an absolute monster first half. Also had nine Randy, rebounds. Randy Brown, 11. He had nine rebounds with the 18 points. This is just a special group of players. I asked Jerry Tarkanian before the game, was it his best team? And he said, to this point, yes. He said, was it the best team you've ever seen in college basketball? He said, I can't say that. I can't compare eras. And I think that's a legitimate comment. Well, it is legitimate, and the one advantage you'd have to give to the UCLA team is the giant in the middle, Lou Alcindor and Bill Walton, were such special players. Very critical here for New Mexico State to get off to a good start in the second half. Also, Indiana had the great big center on the collegiate level, Benson. Jordan double clutch, missed it inside, Ogman with a rebound. See how they sent two guys back trying to protect against Anderson Hunt? Ogman with six boards. If this is going to be a game, it's going to be crucial. Hunt for three. It's going to be crucial for this club in the next four minutes to get a little spurt going to Mexico State. And that's the way to really quiet the crowd. Anderson Hunt with the quick try. I think it's almost impossible, I think, to play zone against these guys and expect to do anything with it. Well, if you play zone, you can't block out real well. And they go to the offensive boards exceptionally well. Off balance jumper won't go. Here comes Vegas on the run. Here comes the Express. They're big guys. Uh, run what so a, well. It's just a great play. That's a clinic on how to play two-man basketball in transition. What a great give and go maneuver by Stacy Ogman. Great touch pass by Anthony. Oh, it's that 51 37. Jordan down left. Powered that one up. I like his slashing ability, Reggie Jordan. Ogman back. Oh! Away. Finger roll won't go. Loose ball saved, but to New Mexico State. Benjamin. Nice pass, and he got it off to Randy Brown. Nice transition game. The reverse rolls. Benjamin goes to Brown. You know, basically the way they played, Mike, they'll probably beat any team in America tonight on this floor with this crowd and lively like it is and the way they played. Hunt for three again. Johnson offensive? with a big offensive rebound. Bad pass this time, a rarity. Here comes Jordan. Finger roll, didn't get it, got his own rebound, had it blocked, got it again. Once again, goaltending. No doubt about the goaltending there. Bobby Dibbler with the great ball. Called it on Ackles. Anytime the ball is directly in the center, 90% of the times you're going to get a offensive foul. And look at the effort here by Reggie Jordan. He goes up against the big people two times. Now he's going to go back up the third time. And that time he definitely gets it on his downward flight. And now they've cut the lead to eight at 51-43. Every time we think Vegas is going to blow it away, the Aggies have an answer. They have no quit in them, and I believe it's the crowd that won't allow them to quit. It's one of the loudest places in America. The big guys for Vegas handle the ball so well. They can all run. They can all dribble. Anthony for three. Foul oh, on Johnson. Yeah, Johnson climbed the back. Jerry Tarkanian did not like the call. Johnson didn't protest it at all. For all the people, 29 in a row right now they have on this floor. 29 in a row. Amazing accomplishment. Lute Olsen and Arizona. 61 in a row. That's an amazing accomplishment over in Tucson. And that 29 included a one-point victory over Vegas last year. Uh, Jordan missed the 
jam. That could have cut it to six. And his place would have absolutely just exploded. Anthony's the one guy you might be able to play off and allow to shoot the perimeter shot. Johnson, great dish down. The follow will not count. We've got a foul underneath. Ogman was clobbered. Stacey Augman, so versatile. What a heck of an NBA player he's going to be with his defensive ability and his transition ability. Foul was on Michael New. Look, that follow by Ackles. Well, you only got to see part of it. Gee whiz. Augman came out of Pasadena High School, out of Muir High School, out of Pasadena, California. And I'll never forget, I was at the NCAA Finals in Dallas, and Larry Brown told me, Larry was coaching at Kansas, yes, Stacey Augman did, remember the name big name high school player but he will be a dynamite college player and Larry proves himself accurately again in his he evaluation. Has, he has a dozen tonight a wooden award candidate as is Larry Johnson. <laughs> Missed the second. The lead is nine. Brown hustling it up. Jordan for three. Way off. Offensive rebound. New had it blocked by Ackles really defends in that lane. And that's such a psychological advantage when you have a shot blocker in the lane. What a dimension that gives to your team. Look at him right here. He won't allow anything in the lane. Great timing. He has four blocks tonight. Got a bunch of pro scouts watching him. Jerry Krause of Chicago Bulls. They will call an offensive pushing foul on Jordan, and that was a good call. I was watching him trying to get free. Neil McCarthy didn't care for it, but he definitely pushed off. Second on the UNLV's all-time list. 52-43. Vegas by 9-16, 27 to go in the game. There's that matchup zone. They won't come out of it. They do a lot of multiple things off it, though. They change their looks and the movement of the ball. Johnson leans into one. What a devastating play. I mean, you like him a little bit, don't you? Oh. <laughs> I mean, he's got a great attitude, too. That's what makes him special. Not only his talent. Naturally, it starts with that talent, but his attitude makes him special. Jordan down the lane, missed another layup. Here's Hunt on the run. One on two. Scores it anyway. Anderson Hunt in transition. He's got another year next year. He says, my mama wants me to come back to school and graduate, coach, and I will be back at UNLV. Seven for Hunt. Jordan has had two layups, tried to jam them both, and missed them both. Uh -huh. That's the athletic ability. He has a 42-inch vertical jump. He really played well for Mike Krzyzewski at the World Championship game tryouts for the national team. Foul was on Larry Johnson, his second. Nice bounce pass. Now watch the reverse layup. Doesn't use the dribble, protects the ball. Not playing like a guy that's under the weather, is he? No. You'd like to see him healthy, wouldn't you? They said it was a very emotional moment over at UNLV in their last game, the last home game. Had all the parents there, Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Ogman. Brown is four for four from the line tonight. Make it five for five. He has cut the lead back to 10 points. 15-38 to play from Las Cruces, New Mexico. For years, I never even thought about it. I guess I just didn't want to face things. Yeah, I've been there. But now, my parents, they need real help. It's gonna be tight. We'll just have to manage somehow. I got this guy at Payne Weber. He put me in a mutual fund for my parents. Same time he set up my kid's college fund. That long ago? I didn't know about your parents back then. He asked. another car with all of its standard features and appointments for $28,500 or less, we'll do more than congratulate you. 
We'll buy it for you. What Jerry Carcanian is telling his club is, go back inside the Larry Johnson. Don't forget about him when you come down the floor. Give it to Johnson. If he doesn't have it, then pass the ball back out. The quickness factor of New Mexico State is very impressive. I mean, they're not going away. They're hanging in there. Vegas is going to have to play a full 40 if they're going to win it. Now let's go back to Mike and Dick. And that's unusual in itself that they have to play a full 40 minutes. I'll tell you, that's a nice guy to go to. Isn't it a nice option when you got a Larry Johnson? He's, in, he's unstoppable. He's invincible when he gets the ball down in deep. He has 20 tonight. Averages 23-2. Shows his versatility handling the ball on the perimeter. Randy Brown got hit in the eye. Trying to protect himself and had a tough time finding Anthony. There's that spacing we talked about. 15 to 17 feet apart. Johnson being guarded by White, who's back in the game. Ogman kicks it back off the hunt for three. Long rebound. Here come the Aggies. They are quick. They are quick. They're one of the quickest teams I have seen. Oh, they cut it to eight. And look at them playing defense. Look at them really checking out a defensive end. Look at Brown get down in front of Anthony. Johnson, what a power move. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he got him down inside. You might as well just get out of the way. He's going to the hoop. I tell you, he ought to go to the Dallas Cowboys. Forget about the NBA. See, when in doubt, let's go to the big guy. Let's go to our strong man. Let's go to option number one. He's a man. Inside. He says, bring on the whole team, baby. Third foul on James White. Anthony for three. And he's the one guy we said, maybe a liability shooting. So Greg Anthony starts shooting the perimeter. See, they played off him. I would do the same thing. Make him shoot that jumper from out there. You've got to give something up. Well, he shoots 40% from three-point range. There's that deflection from the rear. Two on one. Against Honey, foul. And the foul's on Benjamin. You just have a one-minute break, Dan, and yep. it's just boom, boom. Look at Jerry relaxing. Yeah, if you lose your concentration, like you said, for 60 seconds, they've got three buckets. See, there's that reach around from the rear. And they're going to get the ball back out in transition. Could have dumped it off. Had an open guy. Didn't give the ball up. Larry was there right for the bung. Anthony is 75. Leads us back to 12. It's 60 to 48. He's not on scholarship. He was really bitter when that ruling came down a week ago that he had to get out of the business with his two buddies who were manufacturing those T-shirts. He was like an entrepreneur. The NCAA said, your eligibility is gone unless you get out of that business. And he got out of it. The kid is not on scholarship. That doesn't make much sense, does it? Well, I think that as long as it's monitored by the necessary people and that there aren't any violations taking place, why should he be allowed to earn some money? He's not on scholarship. Benjamin being dogged by Hunt. Five-second call, turnover. That was just great team defense. I mean, he just jumped on him, and everybody else was shutting off the next outlet. Hunt plays the ball exceptionally well. His stance is just so great. He has great balance. If you have the ball, you have a red uniform all over you. They love doing that, too, Mike. They really love playing that defense. And I think it's the hardest thing to teach a kid to do. That's they like love playing defense. Here's a three by Ogman. What a backbreaker. He got six, eight, six, nine guys going outside, burying 22 footers. Every time they make that little run, look, they had it up, had it down to eight, and now it's back up to 16. 64 48 Vegas, 13 49 to go. test driving a Sterling, you find another car with all of its standard features and appointments for $28,500 or less, we'll do more than congratulate you. We'll buy it for you. Mom, tell the truth. Is everything all right? Is this where we reverse roles? Are you serious? I mean, you won't have to sell the house or anything, will you? Well, why would I do that? Mom. Look, when you were away at school, Dad met with Greg Hall down at Payton Weber. Oh, that was ten years ago. They set up this annuity just in case anything happened. So you have enough? More than enough every month. How the Payton Weber guy know back then what Daddy wanted for you? He asked. Send up a crossbow! Give me an object! 
there's a place in the friendly skies where not everyone's so friendly. Stop! Hold it! I need three hours minimum. Check it out. Over 9,000 mechanics of United Airlines work Give here. Give me a mini grinder. They're picky, fussy, stubborn. But if you fly, they're the best friends you'll ever have. United, rededicated to giving you the service okay. you deserve. Come fly the friendly skies. This telecast is an exclusive presentation of Creative Sports Marketing in association with ESPN and a use rebroadcast or other transmission without the written consent of Creative Sports Marketing and ESPN is prohibited. Mike what? Patrick and Dick Vitale with you, 13-49 to go in the game from Las Cruces. It's been closer than it uh, is right now, 16-point lead for UNLV. I'll tell you, Mike, the one thing right now, if you're Neil McCarthy, you got to play a mini game, and you got to hope in the next three minutes and 49 seconds that you can get it down to 10. That's the game you have to play with your players. Try to get it down to 10 going into the last 10 minutes. This match is the biggest lead of the game at 16. Watch in this half, they've cut it to 8. Watch Anderson Hunt when he plays the ball. They're in that zone right now, the Amoeba zone. And this is not a good shooting basketball team. Although they have shot well tonight. Shot clock at 19. Shooting only 44% for the year. And they have an amazing record. This is new. Gets cut off at the baseline. Benjamin. Brown for three. Johnson outlets to Anthony. Nice stutter step and a great steal. Good anticipation. Jordan back the other way. Ackles and Johnson. Jordan so quick to the basket. Isn't it amazing to believe that Jordan did not play high school basketball? Yeah. Said he was playing on a playground and he got discovered down in San Diego for a junior college. There's the anticipation by Jordan. Now he's going to go up the court with that superb quickness and athletic ability. A little change in direction between the legs. See, that's not showboating. That's changing direction by either going behind the back or between the legs. Those are two avenues you can utilize. They said he was a street player in uh, in high school, and he says, I guess if you're a good street player and you're coachable, you might turn out to be pretty good. He has turned out to be a heck of a player. Last year, this club won, as I said, 26 games. They're having a great year again this year. In fact, last year it was 16-2 and two in the Big West Conference. Uh, you said he had to score tonight. He's already over his season's average. Yeah, he's really given Alvin some real tough times tonight. And Stacey's a tremendous defensive player. And he has missed two layups. Those are two big jams he missed. Yeah. And you can't afford to miss opportunities against these guys. New Vegas getting good ball movement against the matchup. Trying to make it have a difficult time. See, they try to overload against it, too. Ogden down the lane. Got the roll. Stacy Ogden shows you can shoot the three-point shot now. He has driving ability. And the one wrap on him was that he was not a complete offensive player. 66-50. New Mexico State needs a run. A Is it run. possible? Against a team that is this solid on defense. Jordan and Ogden, good matchup right there. Brown tries to penetrate. Dang. Goes after the rebound, slaps at it, knocks it out of bounds, and they say it's off Vegas. Garibaldi made the call. He's the pitch for the Giants. Good pitcher, too. Brown to inbound. Jordan avoids the reach around, then lost it on the way up. Johnson, what an out. Right how quick they release in transition. They're so quick, their backcourt duo. They play under control a lot better than the kid Wade and Banks did. Banks took a lot of bad shots, was a good offensive player, but I give the edge for this backcourt. There's a pushing foul inside called against UNLV. Look at Johnson, how quickly he'll outlet the basketball. I mean, he throws a chest pass. Three quarters yeah. court. I was just going to say, that wasn't one of those over-the-head jobs where you can get a lot of momentum in it. That was a one-hand chest pass. chest pass. And it went 55 feet. Unbelievable. Foul was on Ogman. It's his third non-shooting foul. Trying to reverse the ball out of the out-of-bounds plate and dump it inside. Vegas. Might be time to see Bennett, the three-point shooter, coming off the bench. Right now, they're down by 18. Big West has got some good basketball teams. Last year, I thought it was one of the most improved conferences. This year, the Pac-10 is unbelievable. Benjamin for three. 
He's really improved his range as a shooter. He's some good mo moments this year shooting the three-point shot, Benjamin. Brown picks up Anthony at three-quarter court. The lead is 15 with 11 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the game. This crowd doesn't want to believe they're going to lose. Angles would have been a spectacular shot. Johnson fouled before he got off the follow. Angles trying a circus shot. The one negative with the matchup zone or any kind of zone defense, Mike, you don't get good blockout assignments. And if you don't get good blockout assignments against a tremendous rebounding team like UNLV, you're going to pay big. And here's an example of it. Look at Ackles. He thinks he's playing horse. So he's going to try a reverse. Reverse finger roll. Yep, there's Johnson with the offensive class. Jordan picks up the foul. It's his second. I'll tell you one thing about this crowd, though. It's very live. The whole atmosphere is beautiful. The cheerleaders, the dance girls, the whole pageantry is so exciting. They're one of the greatest pet bands I've ever heard. Oh, the sensation. So exciting. Here's the steal. Brown. Here goes Jameson. Oh, he's clobbered. Oh, what a nice job by Hunt. Hunt nearly took his head off and it caught him in midair so he wouldn't get hurt. Yes, and Randy, I don't want you to get hurt. I just want you to go to free throw line, Randy. Now here goes the look. There's the anticipation. There's the steal by Randy Brown. He's off to the races, but here comes Hunt. What about an intentional? Look like it. What about an intentional? Two shots in the ball. To me, that's an intentional. He's not going to play the ball right here. The lead is 15. They need every point they can get. Brown hits the free throw. These kids have just been outmanned physically, the size, but they have played so hard. He said six out of six from the line tonight and 17 points. Sensational game for Randy Brown. He and Jordan have really played well. Spencer is in there for UNLV, and he made the mistake on the last possession that turned it over. This is his crowd. They're trying really hard to get back into it. They really are trying to give their team a tremendous lift. Ogba wouldn't go. Johnson has to follow it. Partially blocked. Johnson tipped it again. Out of bounds to UNLV. They just get too many opportunities. Seconds and thirds. Can't get those blockout assignments. As Coach McCarthy averaged 20 W's a year in 10 years at Weber State. Had one run where he won 21, 23, I believe, and 26. He was 26 and 2 one year. There always seems to be an outlet for a pass for the Vegas running rubber. And they really pass the ball well. They start at 1-1-3. One, one, a tandem and it rotates to a 2-3 matchup. Johnson had it knocked away. This is Benjamin. Lost his balance, took the shot, and we've got a foul on an eight. The degree of difficulty, he gets five if he makes that, baby. Now here's New Mexico State, pops the ball loose. Randy Brown does with those quick hands, and there's Benjamin out of control. And then Ware commits the personal, trying to get the foul. It was his second. That would have cut it to 11. Ware's really been quiet here in the second half. Sure They're really taking away his offensive game. We've just passed the 10-minute mark. Well, if New Mexico State loses the game, they'll look back at some shots like that that would have gotten them closer. Augman fouled on the way in by Brown. But they've never been in a position where they legitimately have challenged. No, they have not. They've gotten as close as eight points in the second half, which, as you pointed out, is a moral victory against these guys. The coach McGrath, he says, I don't want any moral That's victories. Right. He wants the real W. I'll tell you, he overachieved the marriage. I saw his wife today, Vivian. There's a look at Jerry, his wife sitting behind the bench, Lois. Ogden, 6'8", 205, 17 points tonight. Missed the free throw. It's a 1-1. One -one. Jordan likes to work with that right-hand dribble and go to the right. Benjamin for three. Benjamin really catching on fire now. It's a 10-point game. There's the 10. I said it's the 10-minute mark. He was down at 925. Well, who knows? And they're up there. What is that? The Panamanians are going bananas in Pandemonium Center. Johnson had it. Here they go. Look at that hustle. Look at that hustle. Jerry wants a T.O., baby. He wants a T.O. Holy cow. 
It could have been a lot closer than that. Come to the new Palace Station during our grand reopening and try the all-new Iron Horse Cafe, featuring authentic Chinese cuisine and American fare. Or the new Whistle Stop Snack Bar for great deli sandwiches. And the new Palace Saloon with nightly live entertainment. Our 600-room tower and new parking garage are just steps from all the fun. It's an all-new Palace Station. It'll be your favorite all over again. Once again, this season, if it happens in baseball, you'll see it on ESPN. Damon Bailey faces Steve Smith. King Rice meets Kenny Anderson. And Brian Williams leads Arizona against Oregon State. A star-studded triple header Thursday night live on ESPN. What Neil McCarthy is telling this club is keep the pressure on. Let's come out defensively, take some chances, go into the trap, do as many things as you can to disrupt them. Long time left in this game. He feels his club's just coming on. Let's go back to Mike and Dick. Hey, Dan, did he mention anything about making layups? I mean, that's got to drive you nuts. Yeah, it really hurts. But I think a lot of that, Mike, is not so much the open layup as you look right no, here. No, that's right. The Big West Coach of the Year the last two years. It's basically the anticipation of the shot block by an Ackles or the presence of a Larry Johnson. And being a little bit off balance going in and really wanting it so badly. Every time they've made that run, Vegas has come up with a big play. Ackles from 14 feet. Rebound aware. They got a chance to get it under 10 right now. They got to get some scoring out of Ware. He's a good offensive player. They're relying too much on their perimeter people, Brown and Benjamin, and also Jordan. Benjamin Brown and Jordan have scored all 21 points in the half, and now Jordan lost. 14 turnovers for the Aggies. See, that's the chance he was talking about. Take a few chances. Brown picks up his third. Coach McCarthy is getting real close. He's out of the coach's box. He's not allowed to be there without Jerry Clark. Jerry's pointing that out. He's out of the coach's box. Yeah, the only way you can do that is come to the scorer's table to ask a question. Yeah, you can do that, but also the other coach is supposed to be present. And Brown apparently has been hit with a technical. We don't know what he said, but obviously he got in one of the words and the miss by Anthony Anthony two out of three from the line now he's shooting the technicals he missed the one-on-one right he's wondering why he's getting three when he had a one-on-one and now he's shooting the two technicals four it's two of the three. It's 70 to 58, and Vegas will have the ball. And Anthony doesn't want to leave. And Brown is coming over to, to uh, try to clear it up. He's very upset about the situation. Well, they can't lose their poise now, really. No. They put them on the line a few more times and give them possession. It's lights out. Jerry says, we'll take a few more free throws. Well, that's two points, and you give the ball back to Vegas. If they had a three, it's a five-point play. Jerry says this place is so live. I was talking about earlier how they were down 19 in 1987 with his great team with Gilliam, and they were ranked number one. When it was all done, though, they won by 11. It's 70-58. That, that man can coach. Flat-out coach. Of course, he does have a little talent to work with, too. Well, he knows how to blend talent. Yeah. Got great people skills. Anthony around Beckman with a leaner. Oh, 
Greg Anthony's like the fifth option offensively. Comes up with the big play. He was in another school. He probably averaged 27 points a game. Be the number one guy in a conference. Well, he started out at Portland University. Did well there. The lead is 14. Jordan just being dogged by Auden. Leans into one. Great move. Shot wouldn't fall for him. Tipped outside. Maggie's got it back. Real danger zone right now, Mike. The next three minutes is actually a danger zone. If they don't get a spurt like a 10-2. I'm surprised out. we have not seen Bennett, the three-point shooter. Jordan Trump trying to do a lot himself. Get the lane, finger roll. He's fouled by Ackles, it appeared. Jordan's a real driving, slashing, scoring kind of player. Likes to be isolated, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, his name is not Michael. It's not Michael Jordan, but it's Reggie Jordan with a change. There he is, beating Ackles to the basket. Dick at 6'4", where do you see him in the pro? Well, I see him struggling to be a pro for this reason. Doesn't have good perimeter shooting ability, and he would have to be a second guard. He certainly can't play on a baseline in the NBA. Maybe York? Every point critical now. Missed the free throw. He's hit two out of three from the line. New Mexico State is a team from the field, only shooting 35% in the second half after hitting 52 in the first. Jordan hits the second. It's a 13-point game. Here comes some three quarter court pressure. Gonna go some traps. Invite him to the sideline. Fanning them. See so fanning him to the sideline. And there's the ball reversal. Vegas in the proper places at all times on the floor. They just handle it so beautifully. They always have an outlet, a release man. Hunt for three, and he likes that side of the zone, but they get the ball back. Ogden with a long rebound. Hunt was an absolute nightmare to Bobby Hurley and Duke when he beat him 103 to 73. Thompson, so strong inside, that'll be a goal ten. Boy, Johnson's a nightmare inside. He gets the ball, you can forget it. Look at him, he gives more high fives. He leads the nation in laying high fives. Here's Larry now, there's going to become the goaltender. Now, come on, Larry, run and give some high fives. Come on. 72-61. Now they've changed it back to what it should be, 72-59. No, 74-59. They gave the bucket to the Aggies and not UNLV. That would have been very helpful, but they can't. it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Benjamin. That's a three. And they need it. Benjamin's really played well on the perimeter. He has. He's improved his range. Last year he did not have that kind of range. He was a third guard. 74-62. 6 7 to go. They still don't believe that they're going to lose. And this crowd will not make them believe that. I don't either, Dick, but I'll tell you what, comparatively for Vegas, this is a nail-biter, and Hunt banks it home. Yeah, right, only up 14 instead yeah. of usually being up by 35. They average beating people by 30 and a half points a game. Well, they spotted Team 4 zip the other night by playing six guys to start the game against Irvine, get a technical because they want to play all their seniors. Who would do that in college basketball? Benjamin tries another three. This one won't go, and Ackles with a big rebound. 14-point lead, 5.27 left. They score here, Mr. Patrick. Go to bed, baby. It is over. The party is finito. Now, I get paid till the end of the game, Dick. Hey, I've had the last four. I've worked three with double OTs, and one was OT. Shot clock at 17 seconds. Yeah, they're using the clock now with each possession. Very smart. Very unselfish. Henny Anthony for three. Rebound to Ogden, and he's fouled. Foul called on Benjamin. Not really his fault. He just ran into Ogden after Ogden had the ball with both point court. Well, look at this. You put Larry Johnson as your power forward on the all Rolls Royce All-American team, right? Okay. Based on performance right now. We're not talking preseason. We're not talking expectation. Performance. Larry Johnson, the winner. Center, no contest. Shaquille. Don't have to even be a genius. Poor Shaquille. We do the win next player of the week. We don't even consider him anymore because his statistics are in another world. So we put Shaquille. And we go to the backcourt. I don't know. Kenny Anderson, a point guard? I like Kenny Anderson. I like him a lot. But what yep. about a guy by the name of Eric Murdoch of the year he's had down in Providence? 
I'll still take Kenny Anderson. Okay, then what about the second guard? What about maybe putting a guy there by the name of Jimmy Jackson? Has he had an unbelievable year? Yes, he has. I mean, you could put Steve Smith at Michigan State, but I say you got to go Jackson based on performance this year. Ogman hits both free throws. The lead is up to 16. We'll get the rest of that team in a second. Well, small forward comes down. Who do you take? Stacey Ogman or Billy Owens? Well, there's a tough choice. 4.42 to go. Ware is back in. He has the ball. Bennett's also in there. Ware, baseline jumper. That's not his shot. Brown with a rebound. Got to look for Bennett to shoot the three. But Vegas is going to match up on him. Smart play by Brown. He had a three-point shot. He leaned into it and tried to get three free throws. They're only going to give him a two. He wanted the three. I think maybe he earned it. He's a very heady guy. Nice kid to talk to. Really enjoyed speaking to him today. What well, have hit the city of Chicago big. I remember reading an article by Terry Boris at the Sun-Times in Chicago. I think it was a year ago. He wrote about the Chicago connection and about all these kids. Michael New also talking about naturally this guy right here and Reggie Jordan and how they found a home here in New Mexico, in New Mexico State. Brown has had a sensational night, but he misses that one. 16-point lead with 4.30 to go. Now, come on. You always put me in a spot, but now I'm going to reverse roles. I'm the play-by-play -play guy. You're the analyst. You can only have one. I want to know. Augman or Owens? <laughs> can't lose with either one of the two. No, you really can't. Uh, but you got to take one. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta give the You're the edge. guy who picks all these things. you, you, you got to give the edge right now. You have to give the edge to Billy Owens. He's having an unbelievable year offensively, defensively. He's carrying Syracuse. And it was three free throws. Rebounding. Lead is 14. Here's the pressure. You've got to go out after him now with 4.17 to go in the game. And there's where they really make you play. Pay big time. They get into isolation, one-on-one. -on -one. And can these guys get backdoor cuts? And they stretch out the defense. Look at Johnson. He's trying to point. He says, dump it inside now. I'll seal them off. Get the good angle. New Mexico State stays in that zone. Hunt tries to dump it down. New Mexico State has the ball. Ware will hold up. 3.49 left. They're down by 14. Against the best team in America. 29 in a row at stake right now for this club at home. Bennett for three. It's an 11-point game. He can Don't go away. He can shoot the three anytime, any place. Can he, though? I was trying to coach a little bit, trying to get him into the game. I know you were trying, but Benjamin was playing so well, I couldn't get him out. Vegas will work the clock. Boy, the three-point shot can make such a difference. Dick, would you stay in the zone right now, or would you come out? Well, I tell you, it's very difficult for them to match up man to man, so they're matching up out of the zone, which is their living. But it's getting to the danger time where maybe they got to come out. Anthony, the way by Brown, taken back by Hunt, and then Hunt hits the jumper. Big Holy play. cow! Big play by Anderson Hunt. See, their match, their matchup zone defense has so many man qualities to it that they can stay in that and pressure out of it. We've got a timeout with 2.58 to go in the game. Number one, an undefeated UNLV up by 13. test driving a sterling you find another car with all of its standard features and appointments for twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars or less we'll do more than congratulate you we'll buy it for you those who think only short term may take a bearish view of the times ahead but those with a long-term perspective will see the future as a whole different animal. At Merrill Lynch, our insight and understanding can lead you to the opportunities that lie ahead. Merrill Lynch, we're bullish on the future.
around and sing, join in the ring. It could be queen or it could be king. You go your way and I'll go mine. As long as you just make it fine. Good times roll with the clean, fresh taste of Bud Light. It won't fill you up, never let you down. Storyline, in case you joined us late or in case you're still up on the East Coast, UNLV has outscored the Aggies' front line by 22 points. They have hit 7 out of 18 three-point shots. But look at New Mexico State. As a team, they shoot 63% from the line. Tonight, they have hit five, 15 out of 19. And they are not a great three-point team, but they've hit 8 out of 13 tonight. Dick, with those numbers, arguably, arguably they could have beaten anybody else in the country tonight. But against Vegas, they're down by 13. Yeah, they really did play well. Defensively forced some turnovers. They really excelled offensively. His team has played exceptionally well. But they just have met a premier, an absolute dominant basketball team. First time I've had a chance to see Vegas in person, and I can tell you, I am terribly impressed. Jordan, baseline drive, got it that time. No one rotated over to clo close off the driving angle. That's very rare in a team concept defensively by Vegas. I've had them about five times, Mike, and they've just been sensational every time. Well, in order for someone to beat them, that someone is going to have to play exceptional basketball. And Vegas is going to have to have sort of an off night. Well, they're going to have to play like Villanova did, Willie Massimino, when he pitched that perfect game in 1985 exactly. to beat the Georgetown Hoyas. Here's the reach around, knock the ball away. They're going to call a foul on Benjamin. It's going to be a David and Goliath in the NCAA tournament. Just imagine this. They have gone into two unbelievable places, Arkansas and here, and really have met the challenge. And we're talking about playing tough and all that jazz, and they win by double figures. I mean, it's just incredible. Look at that percentage. Those are some kind of numbers. He has passed Claire B. And, of course, to keep that percentage, you've got to win five out of every six games. The one thing that I would say is this, as opposed to, let's say, Indiana in 75 and 76, they won 36 in a row in the Big Ten. An unbelievable accomplishment, two years unbeaten. Vegas has not had to get really up for a lot of people. Their schedule doesn't have those kind of teams exactly. on Exactly. 12-point lead. I mean, they embarrassed Princeton, and Princeton hasn't lost, I mean, forever. They've only lost two games all year. The Aggies cannot afford to take their time. They'd like to find Bennett for the three. But he is being shadowed by Hunt. There's the three. Rebound to Jordan. Foul underneath by Larry Johnson. Wednesday, we've got more college basketball coming your way at 7 o'clock. Seton Hall will go against Connecticut. That's a 7 o'clock start. And then Clemson against number 8 Duke from Cameron Indoor Stadium. That's a 9 o'clock start. I'll tell you one team that's really hot right now, P.J. Carlissimo and Seton Hall. They've run off some really big wins. It's a 12-point lead with a minute 55 to go. These free throws really big here. Michael New, the senior from Chicago, averages 11 points a game. Very quiet. New has been accepted. Yeah, he only has three quiet. tonight. They needed a big rebounding game out of him. He's only had four. The Missed big. that free throw. Jordan, excuse me, where? He had it blocked and Ogden comes down. George Atkins, what a factor inside. He just loves to block shots. Boy, is he a rejector. He's going to make my rejection roll team. This team is special. Very special. Very special. Team spreading the court going to a 2 1 2 set against the trap. Release man Larry Johnson in the middle of the floor. And they don't have an opportunity to do this very often. No, they don't really get a chance to practice their spread game. I mean, this is this is not nice if you're up by 40 and doing this. There's a frustrated bench right there. They play their hearts out. They give everything they have, and they look at the board and say, We're still down 11. Neil McCarthy, what a job he has done here. This He's, will clinch the conference, by the way, for Vegas. Last year, they uh, had to share it with New Mexico State. Yeah, New Mexico State got the number one seed, too. Ogden, 7 out of 10 from the line. The lead is back to 12 with 1.25 to go. Dick, I've noticed all during this night, 
we get as excited if somebody gets within 10 points of Vegas as in other games somebody got within one. Within one, you're right. You see, you just get a different feeling with these guys. And it's not that you're rooting against UNLV. It's just the thought of somebody getting within a couple of points in the second half makes your mouth walk. Yeah, and you want to see, just see it. You want to see what would happen if they're really tested in the exactly. last four minutes. Make them go to the free throw line. We may never see it. Well, we may never is right. And when you could be two by 30, final game of an NCAA championship. You know, you want to hear a great story yesterday I learned? Bob and Hurley during the summer, he was going to bed at night and he was dreaming that a white shark was chasing him. And then he woke up and he told his buddy, he says, Kuba, I can't believe it. Every night I go to bed, a white shark is chasing me. He says, you know what? You're dreaming of Tarkanian and what they did to you. He said, I'm taking a dreaming course now at Duke. Uh, Kubek said, you got to wipe that out. Finally, he wiped it out. He said, by October 15th, when he started practice, the white shark went away. <laughs> That's incredible. Hogman lost it on the way in. Out to Vegas with 56 seconds to go. And some of the faithful finally getting up and heading for the exits. With 56 seconds left, you can warm up the bus. 83-7. UNLV over New Mexico State. We'll be back in a moment. Landing gear from Russell Athletic. Also available for the entire family. If after test driving is sterling, you find another car with all of its standard features and appointments for $28,500 or less, we'll do more than congratulate you. We'll buy it for you. Fifty-six seconds left on the clock. Pan American Center in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where the New Mexico State Aggies had hoped to repeat their huge upset last year of Jerry Tarkanian's number one Rebels. Wasn't to be tonight. They gave it fine effort. But as we've said a couple of times during this telecast, UNLV is special. There's only one team that can give them any trouble. Four letters. N-C-A-A. Ogden had 22 points tonight. Johnson, 22, 10 rebounds. Ogden also had 11 rebounds. Ackles, 7 rebounds, 5 blocks. They go to that spread. As we talked about a little bit earlier, Mike, to get away from the game, UNLV, we have learned two of their players, their eligibility is being questioned because when they were recruited, when they were recruited, they asked for room service out of their room in a hotel and spent approximately $25 on a movie, on a call to their parents, and on some food. And the people at Vegas say, not a violation, but there's nothing in the rule book that says that you cannot have room service when you are in a room and i think that when you're visiting a college i think you're entitled to call your mom and dad up that's why i like dick shorts dick shorts is the leader you're going to see that rule book change he's going to bring some sanity to the rule well, i hope all the nitpicking stuff goes away it's a little sick oh. brown down the lane little double clutch missed the shot rebound away oh look, look he's expecting a block shot and see, Ackles, Ackles uh, got tired, I think. Ackles says, come on, I'm going to give you one. Don't worry about it. I'm going to give you that deuce. 85-72. Las Vegas will go to 26-0. New Mexico State will fall to 21-4. Can you imagine looking at the draw when it comes out and you're sitting there? First of all, you're so excited you're in the NCAA tournament and then you look and you say, oh, wow, baby's first round. Well, how, do you, how would you want to be the conferences that have to have the play in that don't qualify anymore? They are fighting to face these guys. Are you kidding? I try to lose that one. <laughs> nah, you don't want to close your season. You want to be able to say, when you get older, you tell your kids, I played against Larry Johnson. Yeah. And they only beat us by 70. <laughs> 
I don't like their shoes, though. I'll tell you that. I don't like those black shoes. I don't like them. I told Tark today. He said he don't like them either. He said the players want to wear them. Oh, well, that settles it. So they can wear anything they want. Hunt with an outstanding evening. 86-72, 18 seconds left. Kids played so hard for New Mexico State. That's so the second time Brown has been able to get a defender up in here and lean into him. Nice job. You know, it's one of the great assets of Jerry Tarkani. You could say the same about Neil McCarthy. Both guys have adjusted in terms of their personnel and their style of play. When Jerry coached Long Beach State, he was a zone coach, and he was a coach that played more patience and ball control. And the same with McCarthy. When he was at Weber State, he played with bigger guys, and he played a slower-paced game. And yet he still won, and won big. Brown, 9 out of 10 at the line. Six seventy-three, fifteen seconds to go. Look at Greg Anthony. He's talking to Storm. He made my all. Look at him right there. My all Bill Lampier team. He's picked by Don McLean. I was looking for a point guard. McLean says, "I'll tell you who really cries a lot on the court." He says, "You got to pick." He says, "It takes a crier to know a crier." He says, "You got to pick Greg Anthony." Put Bobby Hurley on that team. I put a guy by the name of Mister. Yeah, he knows his name. Todd Day, AC Earl. 86-74. Johnson back helping on the press. Excellent ball movement. Hunt fouled as he goes to the baseline. Fouled by Bennett. Hunt said, you know, you got to do a little recruiting for me. He said, we got to get a small forward by the name of Jalen Rose, my buddy from Southwestern High School where I play. He said, he's got to come here and replace the Iceman, Mr. Augman. Hey, we're trying to help you out, Anderson. But they tell me he's going to end up playing for the Wolverines, Jalen. Very difficult to recruit when you know you're going to be on uh, probation next year and not be able to play on television or the tournament. He's got a great chance, though, Vegas, to get a great junior college player than J.R. Ryder. And I'll tell you what, they'll end up next year. They got a kid by the name of Dexter Boney, a tremendous athlete who'll be eligible. They'll have Hunt, they'll have H. Wallman. And My question play. to you, will Jerry Tarkanian be back? Yeah, he says he definitely. Told me today he will definitely be back. Bennett can't get the shot off. And Nevada Las Vegas continues. Number one and unbeaten. They beat the Aggies here tonight, 86-74. For Dick Vitale and Dan Belwanami, this is Mike Patrick. Thanks for watching. We say goodnight for our entire ESPN crew from Las Cruces. Let's go to John and Jim. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Another victory. Not terribly easy, but relatively easy for the Run Rebels as they run their string to 37 consecutive games without a loss. And it ends a string of 29 straight for New Mexico State at home. And Jim Valvano, when you look at this team, it's enough. You look at them, and they're always running through the Pacifics in the easy games in their conference. But what impresses you is when they come to a game that's supposed to be tough, it looks almost as easy. I know we've tried all along to find weaknesses or reasons why they're doing it. I know I myself have said, well, there's a clock, there's a three-point shot, you really can't hold the ball. But the fact is, even Princeton who does that as well as anyone tried to do it and lost by about nine touchdowns. The fact <laughs> is, Nevada Las Vegas is not only the best team right now in this day and age, they might be the best team that's ever suited up in college basketball. We will be here for championship week, but partner, it's been our final big Monday, and I enjoyed it. Oh, First year here with me, it was been John, great. John, I mean, we learned basketball. I learned hockey from you. <laughs> it's, I learned what the red light means, how to keep the thing in my ear. I've had a wonderful time. Can I come back? Absolutely. All back right. for championship <laughs> week, and we'll continue with plenty of that. 68 hours of it, as a matter of fact. We want to remind you, more basketball comes your way on Tuesday night. We'll start things off in the Big eight. Iowa State against number 10 Kansas as the Jayhawks try and roll up their regular season championship. They have to move past Oklahoma State. They're dead even right now. Alabama and Kentucky, number 24 and number 13. Alabama trying to move to the top of the SEC. Of course, for Kentucky, they cannot go to postseason play that at 930 Eastern time. So keep it right here on ESPN. Championship week starts on Saturday, but plenty more basketball to come. For Jim Valvano, I'm John Saunders. Good night, everyone. presentation of NCAA basketball. UNLV versus New Mexico State is brought to you by Sterling, the remarkably equipped British road car, and by Russell Athletic, the nation's leading manufacturer of team wear and sports apparel.
fly the airline that spans more than half the world. United. Come fly the friendly skies.